This is Mr. Royce of Royce Media coming at you guys with another video tonight. Um, sitting here, um, sitting around with this Corona lockdown. Um, it's got everything shut down. Everybody's looking all crazy buying up toilet paper. <laughs> uh, I don't get it, but hey, okay, do you. Uh, anyway, I want to talk about a few things um, that have been circulating on in the YouTube streets. Uh, and the first one is this situation down in Florida with the former governor, the former mayor of Tampa, Andrew Gillum. All I'm going to say about that pretty much is anybody that was endorsed by Barry Obama, um, I wouldn't be surprised that they would be caught up in a scandal like that. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot of love for Obama. And I, I'm as far as I'm concerned, he pushed his agenda and we see what his agenda was. So for Andrew Gillum to get caught up in something like that, it really didn't come as a surprise to me. Um, and this is not the first time, truthfully, I've heard of uh, some stuff like that going on with him. I, I've, I got a lot of family in Florida, all over Florida. Um, I lived in Florida for a little while. Um, I travel back and forth Florida, and I communicate with a lot of people in Florida. Um, as some of you all know, I'm very connected to the Cuban community down in Miami um, uh, and, and uh, places like St. Augustine and stuff. So, And I, I talk to my people down there quite a bit. So. I'm not surprised again. All right. The next thing I want to talk about is this Miko Worldwide situation. Again, I'm not surprised. I know a few YouTubers and um, I visit the Dominican Republic, you know, um, a few times. And I, I actually talk to a few uh, people that are in the Dominican Republic because I personally would like to retire there one day and I was just there um, a few weeks back and, uh, you know, I talked to people that know him and they said something was always off about the guy. So what he got himself caught up in, I'm not surprised. And, uh, you know, I think for me to throw him in the basket with, uh, the, the black male passport movement, and that's why SBM, that was a big stretch. I, I, I don't think he really represents either of those communities, um, especially when Miko didn't see himself as a black American man, um, first and foremost, and he really didn't associate himself with those communities so I think it's a stretch for, for others to associate him with those communities. And then we just have to face the fact that criminals will travel as well, no matter what race or uh, ethnic group. You're always going to have criminals going different places. They, they're going to travel um, within the United States. They're going to travel abroad. So just to lump him and, and say, oh, see, you black guys are going overseas, and, you know, sleep with little boys and girls. That was a stretch, you know. That that's some that's some deflection, that's some nonsense, really. Um, and as I'm not going to say much more about that situation, other than I hope justice is served. If the guy is guilty of what he did, you know, I hope he rots in jail, you know. And um, if he didn't, I hope he finds justice. Either way, I, I hope justice is served. So you know. I'm not going to worry too much more about it. You know, I, I don't worry about it because that's not what me and my buddies do. That's not what the people I know do. You know, they have a lot of different reasons to go overseas and none of them go overseas to diddle kids. So, you know, that's enough about that. Anyway, um, like I said, I was in the Dominican Republic uh, a few weeks ago. I actually was out in Sasua for about a week. And I tell you something, Sasua 
is a little too much for me, even with it being toned down. It's a little too much for your boy. I I, I like Las Terrenas, which I, I was in Las Terrenas for a week as well. And I like the slower pace of Las Terrenas. Um, the people are just as nice, but you're not. Uh, the, the hustlers aren't as a, as aggressive and the street life is a little bit slower. I, I think the beach is better, much better in Las Terrenas. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I think the boardwalk there is beautiful. Um, I might even put up some of the, um, some pictures and videos that I took for Las Terrenas. Um, Sasua is entertainment. I like to go people watch. So it's entertainment to watch how people move about, how uh, see how uh, the the working girls uh, work about, you know, how, how they, you know, they go about doing what they do and to watch uh, the out of towners come through and, and watch how they interact. It's all hilarious to me. It's like a live action reality show. So I was tickle pink, but um, as far as the aggressiveness of the working girls, I, you know, that ain't my cup of tea. Besides, I was down there with the wife, so that's I, I, I don't go there for that anyway. Um, I, I basically, we were down there to see, to scope out locations, um, to potentially retire to, because as much as I like the United States, um, it's like a relative that you have to love from a distance, and I think my time is approaching to where I need to love it from a distance, you know, besides I, I'd like to do something different um, and be able to enjoy myself for much cheaper. And I think that can be done in the Dominican Republic. I've traveled quite a bit throughout the Caribbean. And to me, it's one of the less expensive um, and not, and actually safer places to go. Um, even with, those alleged deaths of those American tourists, which if you look at a place like Jamaica, it had uh, six times the people, um, uh, American tourists dying in Jamaica than the Dominican Republic. And if you look at the majority of those people that died, it was actually from pre-existing illnesses or just doing dumb shit, you know, and that's to put it bluntly, just, you know, not being mindful of their health or doing risky stuff like uh, driving on those narrow as Dominican roads at night, which Dominicans don't do. So, you know, other than that, it is what it is. Um, so basically I just want to jump on and run my mouth a little bit about those things and, you know, check in so y'all can see that the kid is still alive and surviving the Corona's. All right. This is Mr. Royce of Royce Media. Like, share, and subscribe. Or don't. Really don't care. But uh, I'm out.